Hey everybody, how's it going tonight? Uh, so tonight I spun the big wheel of gaming and it came up with one of my favorite games uh, slash comic book movies ever, or comic book games ever. Um, and that would be uh, The Wolf Among Us. Um, for those of you who never played the game, it's from the Telltale series, so basically it's kind of like uh, playing a story. I mean, technically anything is playing a story, but <laughs> this is more like playing a choose-your-own-adventure book. Um, so without much too much further ado, uh, let's, uh, let's get at it, because what's the fun in just sitting here watching me talk? Uh, doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> oh, come on. You're okay. You're okay. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Alrighty. Okay, controls working. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, uh, for those of you not familiar, uh, I have played this game before, I've beaten the game before, um, it's super, super fun, uh, you might be asking, well, Nate, why are you playing a game you've beaten before? Uh, because I beat it on the PS3, and Telltale games are notoriously shit on console, uh, they're just very buggy, very glitchy, whereas I've had the lovely experience of playing Borderlands Telltale, and, uh, it was a glorious experience of no freezing and just uh, it played very smoothly so uh, I decided I would play again on uh, here and I'll do it with you guys because why not uh, also just because it is one of the best games I've ever played uh, now that said I am very much a fan of the telltale genre in terms of playing a, it's almost like playing a movie um, so it's very cool uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Wolf Among Us particularly uh, it is based on a series of graphic novels and comic books uh, once a time on New York City, there's a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who live there arrive hundreds of years ago after they're exiled from the home. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Big B Wolf, get it? Big B Wolf protects them from each other. <laughs> that was my attempt at a lot. No, it didn't work. Uh, Um, so yeah, so, um, as I was saying, uh, Wolf Among Us is based on a series of, uh, graphic novels and comics called Fables. Uh, so again, if you've never checked out that series, definitely go ahead and do it. Um, starts out as gritty crime noir set in this fantastic world of fairy tale characters living in, uh, modern day New York. Um, <clears throat> trying to fit in, trying to not be found. Um, and then it gets a little more fanciful as everything goes on. Uh, you meet modern character, you get the characters from the Jungle Book come up. Uh, Snow White murders Shere Khan at some point. Not the spoilers, but spoilers. Um, but just to give you an idea of crazy shit that happens. Um, it's a great series of books and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, now the beauty of this game is it is a prequel to the book series. So you don't actually need to have any sort of experience with the uh, series itself um, in order to enjoy this game because you basically experience everything for the first time. So it's pretty great. Mr. Toad? Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just think it'd be a bad look to dress up properly and do what kind of damage this whole shit is doing. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Yes, sir. So really. There we go. Just give me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three foot toad in a sweater. No, that's not what I wanted to hit. Stupid. If you can Damn it. afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't say that was harsher than I wanted to be. I wanted to let it slide. Crap. You know what I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. They're, they're, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? It's not even really worth dwelling on at this point. 
You're telling me to get it together. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching me out of glamour again. Fuck it out! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. So, what am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh! This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. <laughs> Dirty prick job shite. Tell you it's been my luck. <laughs> Shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Get it, big B wolf. Then get that fuck back big inside. Big bad wolf. Yeah, you get. <clears throat> You're gonna know who I fucking am. You hear me? Hey, look at me. No fucking way. God damn you! No way. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey! You've got something on your face. What the fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? I'll fucking kill you! You fucker! All right, everyone. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> Oh shit. Make one different choice and all of a sudden the guy's got a goddamn knife. Well, razor. Yeah, see, quick time events are a lot easier when you don't have the game fucking freezing on you. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you in the ground. Do you hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fuck. 
fucking set. You broke my god, you bastard! Thanks to Bill, you fuck. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you all right? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I did. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this mafia. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! <laughs> well, that didn't look fun. Okay, maybe, depending on who you are. <laughs> hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. Don't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. And even when you help, Things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> you forget when you play a game like this. I think the wood's been taking a fucking axe to that. Getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> I'll allow it. Having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. Whoa. Savage. Who do you 
These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Uh, totally. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Sure. Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. Uh. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. Man, I like the animation so much better than the Batman Telltale games. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'll be fine. I really wish I could help. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of Okay, so the reason I chose her not to give her money is because I gave her money the first time I played through the game. And I know I need it somewhere else down the road. What I am. Meet me back at my office, Pat. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. We live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these are pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. Hey. I need to tell you. I'll see you around, Walt. That's a classic detective no war right there. See, what more could you want from a game? You got blood. Ooh, first like 20 minutes. You got blood, you got swearing. You got prostitutes, you got axes in the head. What more could you ask for? Yeah, playing a Telltale game, if you've never played one before, is basically like playing a movie or like a Netflix series. Pretty awesome. Or an HBO series. Or an HBO Netflix series. I don't know what to tell you. It's, just, it's great. It's fun. If you love stories, if you're like a big fan of um, playing games not so much for just raw like kills or action or anything, they're great. If you were a story lover, they are amazing. They're basically a variation on the old point, old uh, point and click.
No walking on the grass, no white's orders. We made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Maybe. Hello, Big B. Sorry, I realized for you guys, just the bass sound and everything is off. I did, uh... There we go. Just in case anyone's having kind of trouble hearing or I'm talking over shit. So on and so forth. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. I swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Big B. Explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate Big B. Grimble's a troll, for the record. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Yeah, lad, the beast. Motherfucker. What's going on? <clears throat> Say oh little things that you forget.
That, that's not how you make ice, Bigby. Throw that out there. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. <laughs> Get in cigarettes. <laughs> I've only got the one. So yeah. Smoke. I've got three cartons in the fucking bat and fridge. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. Is that for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. You can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> I think my job is easy. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Name one. I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. 
and we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, oh, look at this, Eve. Give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. <clears throat> Thanks, baby. Would be a rough way to drink bourbon. I'm just throwing that right out there. No. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? I don't remember well, that at all from the... Previous we need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Wolf and Sheriff's closing. That would have been a closing. That would have been a way better title for my uh, stream. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in high school. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean I'm a working oh. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give it a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, you found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big B, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fabletown in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here.
She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? We can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do that? to her what could do something like that either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it what is it it's a ribbon there's some kind of symbol here Recognize it, neither do I. Mm, mm, mm. Fables, I'm, I'm sorry, this is just so surreal. What do you want to do next? We still have some time. We should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Weird, but all right. <clears throat> well, why was I just able to? Even though I can't. Just some loose trash. Blood. So red. Sharp enough. It's been here an hour, maybe. It's got to have something to do with the blood on the fence. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Must have tell them not. Mm, it tells you a little bit. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Higby, do you have any idea what's going on? How could this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? The victim. She could be a symbol for something. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I won't mm. hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. 
I'll meet you at the business office. Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fuck you, Grendel. Bringing this to me, Miss Snow, the one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged Deputy Mayor didn't appreciate the that. citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, the pimp. Her... was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. You can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. <clears throat> To be fair, I tried to call him an asshole. But. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it's better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking in. Never mind. Crane's like a dude. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Mapkin? Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Mapkin? Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. You're dead ahead flying, monkey. <clears throat> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Oh, Buffkin. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Sure, that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here, somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to Dick get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Good thing it didn't work. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
fucking read the books. You'll find out why. Yes. Frankie. It should be squared away. Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Let's have a little look see at books here. with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Hmm. I think her name was Red. And I didn't see the knife. Was Red Riding Hood behind that shabby armor? The woodsman? Pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Hmm. War. Bet about that, the better. Hmm. Cool day. And I'm there. Peace. Funny. Calling my little brother. Nice thing. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy. Toad would like his a bit more. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? The boss. In his finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Mm hmm. be her father or husband this has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from if it's in here we'll have her name what i can't read any of this shit i can help Look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Bubs is crazy. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good china of Ho Ta. Must be Ho. He probably wrote this in himself. Say, 
says Brickle Bit, an older elvish hat. What's Brickle Bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit gold. <laughs> <laughs> Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing. I only translate. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. This is the one. Where is this emblem from? Whose family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelirao? I'll go look it up. Alelirao. That means every kind of fur in Japan. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, <laughs> also known as <coughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Fate. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Fate. Ew. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. There's no way the stamp was that big. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than... Her name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the housewife. You think he did it? would surprise me at this point. You can't rule him out. Oh, I don't remember seeing these before. <clears throat> I don't remember this. <clears throat> Being able to show the mirror the cards means where the cards fall. Arrows of backwood saws. I wouldn't put too much stock in his wisdom, Rigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a river. Snow, Buffkin, do you know? I don't remember doing this stuff with the cards before. Fuck you both. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me. Show me faith. 
through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Vicky. It's simply the way this has to be. Mm. There's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh, shit. What's he been doing? Where is he? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow buildings, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. him off the suspect list nobody right now anything we can use yeah that'll have to do for now come on we're going over there sorry i have to get back hello woodlands business office yes i he is hold on big b it's for you it's me, Poe. You there? Sorry about the car. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Big B, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toe's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Oh, there's some decisions that I just can't bring myself to, like, redo in different ways. Like, right now, because I've Toad's done Toads there. first, I want to do it, but it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like morally, I feel obligated to go to Toads right now. Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, you didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? <sighs> big, big shit. This is what. <clears throat> There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Thing is, I don't think anything changes with Toad if I do... We need okay, to tell let's do it. Wife. Fuck. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. I think going to Toad's first change is anything really, so. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. Cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mundy's, maybe. But this is different. God damn it. Come on. Hey, open up. It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Lawrence, you in there?
Hey. Hey. All right. Let's try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. people's dead. I need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Sue. When, yeah, I saw the pattern. I'm just Why not doing it just yet. They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Matches the caliber of the gun on that one. should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> oh my god, Rigby, he's alive! Well, she what? is. What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? 
I, I don't know. A few weeks ago, she came by to get some things. That's what she said. I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. This felt like the only way out, so I just shot myself in the heart. Oh, this photo's just dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. You probably hit a lung. Great. <laughs> At least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Hmm. Did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done this to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. Useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being there to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Oh, shit. Go away. Just fucking go away. I'm sorry to inform you, but the wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. Look, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. We need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fuck, Georgie. Um, <laughs> clearly not. No, wait. Oh no, this motherfucker's getting some hair done. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. We need more help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. We can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Vicky will arrest us. Think about your wife. Smart shit, so. Give me back the gun, just in case. Drugs, you do toad first, you fucking. Get back here. Yeah. Hey, stop. Leave me alone.
ship. The one with the shaking fucking shit. Yeah. He almost gave me this limp, but he didn't. Motherfucker. Why did you run, the motherfucker? Fuck was I supposed to do? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Mm, I really don't. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Cocksucker. He almost looks peaceful. <clears throat> You're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. I was thrown to ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Mm -hmm. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. <laughs> I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toad? I think. Be nice to him, okay? What? I'm nice. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but, uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. What's going on? Well, what do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. 
I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. This is for your own safety, Chow. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. We just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Now, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. PJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. <gasps> it has a weevil. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure as fate. How'd this happen? Struck in hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just <laughs> fell off the table. <laughs> All the boy was fattening <coughs> salts and salts. <laughs> Bathroom about. The lock's busted too. This is all for the lock. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Rotten just like everything else in this bloody building. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Genius toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's a popular apartment, Big B, with a door and all. What do you want? Mm -hmm. If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you oh, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. I'm sure Junior's mocked the walls up as well with the gunk those toys carry. He's bleeding. Why? Is that blood still fresh? Oh, well, I cut me hand. Just ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on the furniture. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooked to be in a fable, I suppose. <laughs> End of frog. You're a toad, but that's fine. <clears throat> There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals, and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Hurt like a shit, that ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous slip of events, really. See, like this, the Batman games have you tie like link information and stuff, but this requires you to actually. There's bigger things out. To solve a little here, bit. Yes. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, though. Looks like after a struggle, yeah, 
find it. Let me tell you, I've been hunting for it, and I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you, honest. Okay. Bullfrog shitting me, maybe. Oh. Is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no, there's marks here on the window sill. What's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I come out, I was in a, a downright tizzy, mate, as you would be, <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? We said the last one broken for weeks. Stevens album yet? Well, she wouldn't leave keys. The lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Mm -hmm. oh, just what are you on about, mate? state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please... Please just bugger off. Not yet. Mm, no. Not yet. No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Mm -hmm. I told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories no sense you didn't cut yourself on the poker you didn't forget your keys you didn't bump the lamp off the table you want to tell me what's going on she doesn't think much of me i don't think oh i wouldn't necessarily say that progress mr mm. Tullo, you're bleeding off the hat <sighs> it was that butcher a, a twiggle some of thin you gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which who come bulging in screaming about something a woodsman had or thought he had I don't know he tore up the place beat me up when I said I didn't have it and if you had come in when I asked you to Maybe he wouldn't have the nerve to strong arm me boy. It doesn't make any difference. This is the exact the same situation. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it? <clears throat> if I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take the live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. You're sorry, Kincaid. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. Jeez. Take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here, you'll astonish me, mate. 
to a merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch them at first. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. My luck, it's a map of some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? Assuming he's alive now, I might have changed the story now. Has been any more blood in the place? It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. <laughs> and don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. All right, quick break. This is a very quick. Then we're back. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Digsy, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. 
I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We can find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Thanks, Sven. That's probably the best approach. Oh, the next decision I have to make is a hard one. I want to play it exactly like I did the first time. I just want to see the difference. Or it's just... Thanks I for wish you. there was. <sighs> Sorry. I was just going to say thanks for the help. It's been appreciated. That's all. Of course. I'm just glad I haven't been in the way. Far from it. So. It's nothing. I just. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woods, and we forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. Then you should do something about it. You are in a position to make a difference. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. If you really want to help, you'll figure out a way. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, they turn you away. A little bit of social commentary right there. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Oh, I don't want to make this decision. Give me your, yeah. more people on, you can help me decide, but god damn it all for shit. Alright. Bigby. I I know. Just be careful, please. I hope so. What do you want, Sheriff? Official Fable Town business. Oh, well, if it's official Fable Town business. <laughs> Look, 
I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. He's tired yet. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. like some help and I'll be out of here well I'd be willing to help you out of here would that help he a regular I don't know who you're talking about the one with the bald head and the beard never seen him back someone who left why didn't you dump it if you want a cleaner place feel free to get the fuck out of here you're sensing a very hostile tone from you don't deny it but I'm good at picking up on this stuff A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> Don't get a refund. Fuck you. The word's getting out. Hi, buddy. A lot of stools in this place. I sit over there, I'm going to have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. You going to order something? Or are you just here to bother my customer? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... Paper towels in the saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. He'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. We're true fighters. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Greg. It's 
funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. You're the Admiral. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. <laughs> what the hell is that, huh? Not exactly comfortable with it either, but hey, if you play the hand you're dealt, well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely image. Guess you want to know about the girl. Amongst other things, sure. I'd walk past her place for weeks. Didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> Can't be no robber. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are. Fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob them. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in your bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. She didn't give me shit. <laughs> Just a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. And I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Never did that to you. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I it swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead. Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby. Please, you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop. This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody. Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lap dog. You come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go. I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Molly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. Bitch of the bitch. Is that all you got? Seem to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh. Bring it on, Grendel. You want to go like this, you motherfucker? You suck a dick.
This is what you get, son. Oh, werewolf alert. <laughs> right, this is why I can so we can actually pay for the drink. Don't even think about it. <clears throat> is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. It turns out, if you kill that dog, well, you know what that means. Okay, this is the decision I didn't want to make, right. but I'm gonna Hunt fucking. For the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Okay, last time I played through this game, I went for the woods. This time, I'm going for fucking Tweedle. I want to go through Woodsman. I want to do what I did before, but I'm gonna do the fucking numbnut Tweedle fucking dick bag. Fuck, man! That's not necessary. Because I know the Woodsman did. Even if I didn't beat the game, I would know the Woodsman didn't do it. <clears throat> you got nothing to worry about. I am the egg man. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. I was gonna say, given the way the next part plays out, like there, I must fucking wind up with many of these, but.
We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Where's the rest of them? Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? God, that's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on oh, it. Shit, cool. Cool. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit fun. Uh, this is turned out a lot different than the first time I've played Surge. He's out here. Cool. I'm kinda liking the way this one turned out. Rather than me fucking taking in this and wood, uh, Woodsman. <clears throat> yeah, I realize I'm a dick. Yeah, I realize he could dick again. But it prevent Lawrence's death, which I haven't seen before. It's kinda cool. Uh, groovy. So, uh, that's it for the night. One episode takes long enough as it almost takes two hours. Um, not that anyone's going to be listening while credits play, but I think what I'm going to start doing, uh, just given the amount of Telltale games that I have to play, uh, because I have, oh, sorry, uh, it, for similar reasons that I'm play, replaying The Wolf Among Us, uh, so there's two main reasons why I'm replaying the Telltale game, tell games that I've already played on PC. Uh, one is they work way smoother. As you probably noticed, I didn't get any freezing during this, and I was able to play it through nice and smoothly and with no issue whatsoever, which is awesome. Um, the other reason is the sequels for these are all coming out, and it's I'm going to get them on Steam because the, everything plays through smoother. So... Um, I'm not sure if anything carries over from the first ones or anything, so I want to play through the first ones again. Uh, plus, there's also games like Guardians of the Galaxy that I'm playing through um, for Telltale as well. As, uh... So the ones that I'm waiting for sequels are this one, because uh, Wolf Among Us 2 is coming out. Uh, then there's also uh, Batman, which the second version is already out. Uh, then I've got The Walking Dead games, uh, and plus Guardians of the Galaxy. So, between those four games, uh, plus a couple others that I kind of want to replay, uh, I think I'm going to devote one night a week to playing a Telltale game. Um, and yeah, uh, that's basically the thing behind it. Oh, hang on, let's get through this. Oh, maybe I can. But yeah, uh, one night a week is going to be devoted to Telltale from now on. What happened? There we go. Yeah, so as I just said, uh, one night a week is going to be devoted to playing a Telltale game. Uh, just because they are one of my favorite games, uh, I want to replay them without the shitty glitches that happen on the consoles, and because I've got the sequels coming. And I don't know if anything that I play in the first ones has any sort of merit on the sequels, but yeah, uh, that's kind of the idea. Um, so thanks for tuning in tonight. Um, tomorrow night again, we will have a uh, uh, uh one of the random game was uh picked because tonight was our Telltale night. Um, and then yeah, uh, tune in next week when we're playing Star Wars games, it should be a lot of fun. Um, I've already told you we're gonna do some 64 stuff with Pod Racer and Rogue Squadron. 
uh, we're gonna see some of the PlayStation games, uh, with Bounty Hunter, and uh, yeah, and some of the PC games like World Republic and uh, Diet Guest. So thanks for anybody who tuned in tonight, and take care. Have a good night.